The following question reads that a 5 gram sample of an anhydrous group 2 metal nitrate loses 3.29 grams in mass when heated strongly and you're being asked which metal is going to be present. Now it's a it's a group 2 metal nitrate so the formula of the metal nitrate I don't know which metal nitrate is X would be plus 2 the nitrate NO3 would be minus 1 so the formula of the nitrate is going to be X NO3 twice and when it decomposes the equation is going to be so here I've uh, constructed a general equation for decomposition. Uh, you have a metal nitrate, group 2 metal nitrate, and it decomposes to form a metal oxide. The formula would be X plus 2 because it's group 2. O would be minus 2, and NO2 and O2 would be produced. Now the question states that there's a 5 gram of anhydrous group 2 metal nitrate. So the, I know the mass of this substance over here, it's 5 grams, and it loses mass, loses 3.29 grams in mass. That means these are gases. So this is the mass that has been lost, 3.29 grams mass lost because these are gases, they're going to escape. So what's what's going to be left? That would be the residue of metal oxide. So 5 gram decomposes, 3.29 grams of gases are lost. So what do you have? You have 1.71 grams of uh, this metal oxide that would be left over here. Now how do you solve this question? Now one way to solve this question is you take you'd use the trial and error method you use x as magnesium and figure out whether this data is going to be correct if it's magnesium if you decompose 5 grams of magnesium would you get this much amount of metal oxide and would you get this much amount of uh, of the gases no2 and o2 but that is very time consuming one shortcut is that if you look at the equation you would notice that one mole of metal nitrate produces one mole of metal oxide so the mole ratio is exactly the same so it's one ratio one so i'm going to figure out the moles of this molecule over here the moles would be mass divided by the MR. The MR, we don't know what X is, so I'm going to take it as X. So I don't know what the MR is. NO3 I know. NO3 is uh, 14 plus 16 into 3 and twice, so that would be 124. So that's the MR. And I can find the moles of the metal oxide as well. Mass divided by the MR, which would be X plus 16, because uh, again, I don't know what X is, but I know that uh, oxygen is 16, so the MR would be X plus 16. So mass divided by MR, mass divided by MR. I found the moles of the metal nitrate. I found the moles of the metal oxide. But the moles equation states that the mole ratio is exactly the same. So the two moles are going to be exactly equal. And I'm going to try and solve this now. So 5 rearranging, uh, 5 multiplied by X plus 16. 1.71 multiplied by X plus 124. So uh, that's the first thing I've done. Now I'm going to try and make X the subject of the equation. So here I've uh, worked out uh, everything and if I solve for x now, x comes out to be and my calculator the value that I'm getting is 40.1. So that means that the AR of x after solving this it comes out to be 40.1 and which so x is 40.1 over here. So which metal has an AR of 40.1 if you look at the periodic table it's going to be option B calcium has an AR of 40.1.